Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's continue our series explaining SNCF 30710. Uh, we added the FTDs on the FMC. So, uh, and we did like uh, basic configuration for them. So what we are going to do now, we are going to create our VLANs inside, inside the FTD. Uh, for the uh, inside and outside because now we are trying to prepare our lab to be up and running and going to the internet So let's see the topology that we have Great Now in G0 slash 0 here all the VLANs or the VLANs here that we have here and we explained we have to create it to prepare our inner infrastructure for that so the SVI or layer 3 VLAN will be configured on the firewall itself and you can think about this firewall as router on a stick as we explained it before in the videos like what was the concept of the layer uh, router and stick this is the router uh, 802.1q here the encapsulation it will be all the sub interfaces will be uh, associated for each VLAN that we have and it will be here your switch and this one should be like as a trunk in this switch it will be the layer to VLAN in our case here the core great so let's go and uh, one more thing we will also configure it we'll also give the IP address for the outside interface so let's uh, go to um, okay uh, delete close great now again in the what's going on again in the devices here if we go to back to the devices now we'll find our two firewall so let's go to the first one edit great so g0 slash 0 is inside and g0 slash 1 is outside let's start with the outside Now, give it a name, outside, one, whatever you want the appropriate name for it. And I will name it as a outside. Uh, you have to enable this interface. Mode, leave it for the mode, I don't want it. Security zone. As I explained before, the FTD is a, a zone-based firewall. It's not like ASA, so you can create zones and you can associate with them a uh, multi number of interfaces so here i will create the zone called also outside okay uh, let me go down propagate sgt no not for the time being okay this is the outside it will be 15.15.15.2 slash .15 24 so press ok here in the FMC automatically a message came that you have unchained but you did not save so when I'm saving here it means we are saving on FMC. Nothing got affected to FTD yet. In the FTD, I have to make a deploy. But you can wait, finish whatever you want to finish, and after that, uh, you can deploy all together. Fine. So in the G0 slash 0 now, I want to create sub interfaces for that. So I don't care actually 
it's easier to start zero to have a name or an IP address because this is not my case. And I need for this VLAN here, for these VLANs that I have 10, 20, 30, 40, and 100, I want to make a gateway for them here. The SVI will be here. So this is what I'm going to do. That's why the G0 slash 0, I don't care if it has an IP address or not. The only thing, it should be enabled. That's it. So let's go. Where is my panel here? Okay, G0 slash 0. I can edit here, yes, but this is not my case. Add interfaces. In the add interfaces, you want to add sub interface, a redundant interface, a bridge group interface. Each one will explain it later, but right now my case is sub interface. So what is the name for it? VLAN 10. Very simple. Okay, security group, is it outside? No, it's inside. Great. Uh, propagate security group tag, okay, keep it on interface. Okay, this is for which interface? And this is the original interface or the main interface G0 slash 0. And it's should be enabled. Great. Sub interface ID. What is the ID? It should give you between one and one. Okay, at, as long as it's for VLAN 10, so it's 10. VLAN ID, it's 10. Great. Do I need to put IP address? Yes, of course, because this will be the gateway for VLAN 10. So let's run here. Static, yeah. 192.168.100.1. Uh, sorry, 10 dot VLAN 10, so 10 dot 1 slash 24. Okay. Thank you for reminding me to say that. Now, if you can see here, inside G0 slash 0, it's creating a sub interface G0 slash 0 dot 10, and a sub interface, and it's belong to inside zone. It's very nice. Again, another sub interface for VLAN 20. I will name it VLAN 20. It's enabled security group. You see this? Yes, it is belong to inside. Okay, which interface? It's 0 slash 0. It's 20. And VLAN ID is 20. Okay, run up and go to IPv4 and give it the gateway. So 192.168.20.1 slash 24. Great. See, so now I have two sub interfaces created. What else I have here? I have VLAN 30, it is the DMZ. Great. So add interface, VLAN 30, create a new, name it DMZ, the sub interface is U0 slash 0, 0, 30 and 30. Go up IPv4 192.168.30.1/24. Okay, save add interface sub interface. Okay, VLAN 40 at the eyes, so VLAN 40. Security group, I can put it in the DMZ or I can put it in the inside. Uh, for me, uh, I will put it in the inside. Make it for this inside. 
it depends uh, on you what you wanted exactly so this is VLAN 40 and this is ID 40 and the IPv4 again 192.168.40.1/24 save last sub interface that I have is the management VLAN 100 security zone it can be inside let me make a zone called uh, management management actually it can be belong to inside and it's more logical but it doesn't matter interface G0 VLAN 100 and this is 100 so it's rather than to put it in management because it will uh, uh, require us to make a lot of uh, policies so let it be it inside no problem okay so the gateway here just just I'm trying to simplify things but you can create whatever zone you want 192.168.100.1 slash 24 that's okay press save great so right now all the sub interfaces inside it and we enable them as I guessed yes we enable them so let's now go deploy deployment select okay because the change is here and if you open it it will tell you exactly interface policy device configuration okay press deploy are you sure you have one deploy okay yes deploy now it's a start deploying uh, the minute it's finished the deployment let's uh, go back to uh, devices device management okay if you go here here yeah, pre-deployment configuration okay ready the minute it's uh, it's done uh, then the interfaces will light up green for the g0 slash 0 and g0 slash 1 the down that we did it here it's success let me see the yeah it's still preparing policy configuration on the device okay one minute it's telling you here also like when it's done what is the time consumed for that to be done but for our active it's still okay uh, you should finish right now to test it okay now it's successfully done and it's done great there is nothing lighting up right here just make a refresh or reload it will reload for you and it will be lighting up as we can see the g00 is up green 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 everything is green this is a very good indicator as well as the gigabit here fine actually this is what we achieve we uh, learned how to deal with the interfaces the normal interface how to give it an IP address and for the sub interfaces and how to make it so what we did is we prepared that this firewall okay uh, this interface to be like a sub interfaces then the SVI is all will be here so this is will be the gateway for the whole VLAN and infrastructure uh, thank you for watching uh, the video please don't forget to subscribe like and share and waiting a new video thank you very much